Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Monday. If you've been following the chicken saga, three days ago I thought that no, we didn't have any viable eggs because of a accident that happened at the very beginning of uh, collecting the eggs. But today we're happy to tell you how many eggs did we get? Six. We have six chicks. I'm gonna show you <laughs> the ones that we have in here. If I can, they come right to the light. They're like, help me out. So we have a black one, we have two black ones, and then we have like a bunch of yellow ones. Yellow ones. It's hard to see in there, but there's the carnage of all the eggs hatching. I really wanted a silky egg to hatch. Anyway, we're gonna take them Hold out. On. Uh oh. Hold on. Does that look like through a hole? Let's see. Wait. Oh, he's covering it. Hold the phone. There's another pip. Get like off it. there. Get off. Get off that egg. He's like, I will hide it. Here, put it like this so that they can see. So there's an there's a pipped egg, another pipped egg underneath, underneath that one. That chicken. So uh, yesterday morning I woke up and I had just dreamed that we had three eggs hatch and that I was worried that I was gonna help with some other ones. And when I went to bed last night, at the end of the day, we had three eggs that hatched and I was worried about another egg. Meet one of our newly hatched baby chickens. You can tell by his beak if they're gonna be black or white. Like, he's so cute. I think he's black and white. Let's see, is it a boy or is it a girl? And this obviously isn't a for sure. I think it's a girl. <laughs> I think they're all girls. We're used to us because um. So, this is our day old. I'll bring out the one that um wants to be out like so much. So okay. here's Trixie's thing. If we didn't have Trixie, that would be like the perfect brooder. And then we oh, have. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> we have this little one. I think this one's a girl. You think so? Well, they say if they have a dark head like this, it's a boy. Um. Hold them up and see. You like this. I love the red on him. Here, let's see. With what? Well, you're dropping him. Oh, hold on. No stroke. He's chunky. And he's a new hatch. He's as soon as I put him in the brooder, he started eating. That was the very first chicken that we hatched. Oh, baby. It's cute. All right, let's I see know, the last you one. Were the, for... the last one is so small, you guys. You... And then this one looks the smallest. Leo's so big. If you. <laughs> this one's for sure a girl. See how it's like the same as the other one? And it has a white head. But you can't tell by any of that. There's only like for sure. You can only tell as they get bigger for sure, unless you sex them, and that's really hard to do. That one's so tiny. All right, there we go. So three <laughs> bit. Look at how cute. Like that one's for sure a rooster. Yeah. Little black one for sure a rooster. All right, and who because wants to see the OGs. Uh oh. Oh, we also got a couple more chicks. Oh yeah. Yesterday. Okay, so Bella's right here. So this is our original chick. <laughs> She's like, put me back. She's like, oh, first she, time she ever wants back. Yeah, I noticed. Like, oh look, look at him. He stands out so much. He stands out so much, but he also stands like right in the middle of all the chickens to stay warm. Um, I for for sure feel like he's a rooster. Leo's this one. I'm sorry. And then Leo. That's our other OG. That's our other OG bird, and he's getting so big. He's a coaching. I think he's my new favorite. He's adorable. Like he's adorable. We have two of them like that. Like, look how cute he is. Let's see your little face. Imagine if he was uh, silky. It might. Yeah, definitely a rooster. Why is it a rooster? Because he's noisy. Be a girl. Okay? I don't know what he is, though, but, like, he looks so funny. He's so cute, though. And there's two of those and three of those little white ones. Okay. Anyway, we're gonna make a bigger brooder today. We're gonna fix this up and get a bigger brooder because clearly we need a bigger one. I filled up their food yesterday and they ate half of it in one day. Like, I can see already. I'm using this thing because it's like more chicks can eat out of it. We'll build a bigger brooder and we will put two feeders in there. 
But anyway, those are them. For anybody who's been following, you can tell which that one. little chicken that was hatched and she stuck her foot out and said hi to the world. Hello, I'm here. That was just so funny and so cute. Look at how cute they are. It's nap time now, but I wanted to show you guys. So all those ones. It's hard to take them all out to play with them. They all sleep in a pile together. And then there's these ones, the brand new babies. They all sleep in a pile together. And then these ones that are like twins, they sleep in a pile together. So we definitely need a new brooder, a bigger brooder. That's the end of our poop pile. We are all fresh, starting fresh. I'd like to keep the poop pile from expanding. I mean, it wasn't this big. It was this big. I'd like to build it in though. So, yeah, that's all that's left. That would be good for my garden. I should put it in my garden now. Maybe I'll do that today. I know the last couple of vlogs have been a lot about chickens, but we can't help it. Once you get chickens and you become obsessed, you can't not be obsessed. So, Sophie and I want to show you where we are thinking about putting the new chicken, chicken house, the new chicken house site. All right, so we can't use Sophie to show you because she's going to catch her dog. So Gabby's going to demonstrate to you where we're going to put the new chicken coop. So this is where we're thinking that we're going to put it. This big, huge spot here. <laughs> this is it, you guys. Gabby did a good job of modeling the spot, showing us where. Yeah, it's still a little chilly here. Yeah, so anyway, I like this spot. It's just right here across from the barn, which is fabulous. It's not good. Why? In summer, there's snakes here. Yeah, but have to put. Yeah, but there's snakes everywhere. So the thing is that this is a big enough spot. It's flat enough. It has like enough space for what I want to do with our chickens. But. And it's close to the barn. We can plug in like electric waters and everything. But where we have net them now, they're so protected. Where we have them now is so protected and so like warm. So warm and protected and safe and I love it. But I think this is the new site. We're gonna be using that soon. Oh, I'll put it right there. Yeah, that's where we're gonna put it. So now I just have to go find us a chicken coop. Put the chicken coop right there. And like make this all fenced in area. For yeah, run. yeah, like a bigger area. And the thing has to be like at least this tall. So we can go in it. So this is it. This is it for anybody who's interested. All right, let's go let the horses out. I'm actually excited and we have different plans. Like we might end up selling a lot of the birds that we hatched and uh, because we want specific breeds and I want like them to be set. Whoa. I want them to be separated so that I can like hatch specific breeds instead of like barnyard mix. Right now what we have are a lot of, we have sil we have cochins which are pure and then we have, uh, the rest are pretty much barnyard mixes and I don't want that. I want like silkies because I love those and I want, and so I want to keep them separated. So whatever we get has to be able to separate them. You can tell Sam's watching this vlog saying, oh no, what is she gonna make me do now? She pooped in the barn. Oh, is that what that and smell was? She ran all the way up to the house. <laughs> I threw a stick to get her to go back down to the barn, but no. So I had to put her back in the house. So yeah, so she. If something happens to her down in the barn, she's like, no, I'm not going down. Right yeah. Now. She's traumatized. She pooped in the barn. I don't know. The dog is definitely odd, but that's okay. We all have things about us. Go nicely, little missy. Penny let's go. Yeah, somehow we got a new pattern going. It's you didn't even brush her. Nope. There you go, little mini mini. No. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Look at she just answers. Sophie's like, no, Willow, and she just behaves. Good morning, sweet girls. Good morning, Ruby. Good morning, Sophie. Good morning, Gabby and Molly. Good morning guys, welcome to today. It is still boot camp, so you know where we're headed. <laughs> yeah, life. 
So the very first warm day, because it's still not that warm out, I'm gonna come out here and clean this paddock. It's my favorite thing to do every year. I do it every year. Yeah, Pan, I do it every year. So uh, last night, Sophie dreamed that we had eight chickens in the incubator, so to me, that means we're only gonna have eight chicks out of out of 16. Look at the carnage in there. What's that? What? That thing. Is that the baby? Looks like it. Watch out. Let me get a flashlight. All right. So let's see. So there's a new black one. So those black ones, they're totally different breeds. No, they're right here. red sex link crosses. See way back there, you can see the... You can see a breeder. You can see his wings sticking out. See right, right by that thing's head, there is a chicken hatching. Big chicken. Big chicken. So uh, the other day you saw that Sam bought this bucket here from the store. We went out specifically to buy a bucket. And last night he made us a new feeder for our chickens. And I don't know how it's supposed to work. So basically, I guess you fill this with chicken food and then they put their head in there and it kind of keeps it from falling out. My, this is our old feeder and I really do like this style, except for that it gets wet. I mean, it could get wet. We've always protected ours, but it could get wet. And also it's, it broke. And I just don't find that it distributes this stuff evenly. Like it doesn't, I don't like it. It doesn't work good. So we're gonna try this thing. You're supposed to put it up on a board, but I think it actually needs to be higher than that. I don't know. I'm gonna leave this one in here too. Why don't you hang it from that thing? Yeah, I could hang it from that. I could hang it from this hook, but I don't know. We're gonna see. I think I needed something bigger. But I decided to get a rooster for my hens, <laughs> who are obviously very scared of us, <laughs> um, because I love my Bantam cochins. See the cochins there? I love those. I love the white and I love the gray. They're my favorite chickens and I wanna uh, make babies. And also, I love that white one. She lays blue eggs. Wait, which one lays the blue eggs? The gray one lays the blue eggs. And she's getting really old. You can tell that she's getting old. Her comb is starting to look aged and her feet are starting to look aged. So I really like the chickens that we have and I want to preserve them, if that makes sense. I got these out of our car. Gabby's changing her bridle. She was using Storm's good bridle and now she's gonna switch to Chino's good bridle. So take these to Gabby. Gabby. Here, take them to her and let her hang them up and she's gonna give you one and you hang it up in your stall because one of them will be for your new horse. I don't want one of these. Trust me, those are nice ones. I'm getting super frustrated about the weather, guys. Super frustrated, like I'm ready for spring, like warm spring. Yeah. It's uh, what, What's happening with them? I don't know, I keep getting yelled at. All right, Gabby, which one of these is the one you're using for Chino? Okay. And your reins. Hold up. Where's the martingale? We don't use the martingale. But we might for shows, because Chino likes to be fancy with his head. Martingale's in my locker. All right, so that's what you need. Hang on. That's oh, these that's... These are the wrong ones. Yeah, I'll take those ones home. Uh, I need to go get some these. Are, uh, so Sophie's going to use. So Sophie's going to have this. So Sophie's tack is all cob size. And you know what's really sad? Every time we're coming to the barn, she's like, oh, I really want to ride Sparky. And I'm like, you're too big for Sparky now too. And she just has a type. Like I have a type, everybody has a type. And her type is short. <laughs> her type is short and stocky. That's what she likes. Uh oh. All right, there we go. That is her new bridle for her new horse. It's the kind she likes. It's got like the, one, the mono thing here, the one strap. All of our old stuff, the stuff that we got when we first got horses was with two straps there. So that's it. 
that is ready for when we get it. Right now, like, we're still looking a lot. We're looking so much, and so many of you guys are sending me links for horses. Thank you, like so many of you are so amazing. I've been checking every link. I forward whatever looks promising to our trainer, and then he says yay or nay, and then we go from there. But almost the only thing available right now is mares, and we didn't really want to get a mare, but if we have to get a mare, like we're open to it. The right mare, obviously, we are not gonna turn down the right mare just because it's a mare. But I feel like God's trying to tell me, like, Laura, she needs a mare. <laughs> I feel like that's what's happening. What's happening? <laughs> Why'd you put stuff in the water? You can see the reins, where are they? Oh, they're right here. They're soft. All right, we got it all mixed up. There we go. But Sophie doesn't even use these reins. She yeah, uses... Take those away. Where, yeah. where are your reins, Sophie? Right here. Oh, these are Sophie's reins. So, Sophie's favorite kind of reins are rubber reins. Hmm, she gets that for me. I love rubber reins, too. I like the feel of them. I like the size of them. These are her reins. And these are the reins that go with that bridle. So, that is going to be for your new horse when we find it. And this is Gabby's uh, bridle for Chino. No, Brandon won't care that you're riding Chino. You go ahead, sister. You ride you a Chino. Best you can put those in yeah, there. that's so cool. We also have these. Mm -hmm. But I don't use these because I use mine. I don't know why. I might bring mine in and clean it all. Every once in a while, we bring in like all of our brushes and stuff and clean uh, them. Brandon set up the flower jump. <laughs> Brandon set up what? The flower jump. The flower jump and it's terrifying another thing that people keep asking me in the comments is why the heck isn't sophie just riding chino like gabby has two horses why does she ride chino so this year is the year of chino gabby's showing him and she also is <laughs> terrifying. is getting uh finn ready for shows like this i mean he's done lots of shows but she's getting finn and gabby are still learning each other and gabby and chino are showing so Sophie can ride Finn. No. Sophie can ride not Chino. Riding, right? But just like Finn, I guess Chino is a bit picky about how Sophie rides still. Like you have to have well, a specific to teach me today. Yeah, you have to have a specific horse for a beginner rider. And Chino is a little tiny bit picky about a few things that Sophie still does not perfectly and so she doesn't ride him all the time, but she can ride him. So Sophie can ride Chino sometimes, but but it's still Gabby's show horse, so I'm Gabby is still getting him ready. ready. Alright, yeah, you're gonna help Gabby get Finn ready? No, I'll get Chino ready, like, more fit for it. Yeah, so you know what else is kind of sad, though? We could just yeah, have Chino and good. Finn now. We just have Chino and Finn. We don't have Chino and Gray Finn. We just have Chino and Finn. Don't you know that you're beautiful?